Hello and welcome back to the dark side where as the Empire of Japan we are trying to take over Dutch East Indies to get all of those uh, nice and uh, nifty resources uh, that Dutch have there. Um, we haven't captured any bases so the situation is still the same. Uh, we have managed to drop for an initial invasion force here in Balikpapan. Uh, and I'm uh, going to take some more troops there to capture it. Um, the uh, uh, damage destroyer is, uh, you can see how badly it is damaged, uh, is uh, trying to go back to Kaching, uh, while Task for West has dropped its damage destroyer and is patrolling this area. Might actually do it, might do it something like this. Actually, something like this. Let's be cheeky. Um, that for East, in meanwhile, is heading here towards the Calabas Sea, and we will see what we will find. So let me run the time, and I'll get back to you when I do find something. And our scout planes did find something, uh, says to CL CDDs. So we are going to head there. I'm going to actually launch a plane. Uh, that I will try to keep over this because all the other planes will keep circling. Well, our Jake is going to ignore this in meanwhile. The glass houses are attacking again and we are going to break very slow. Okay, it looks like they are going after Mikuma. One very hit. Let's see now. And we've got a dud. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Mikuma was hit by a bomb and has been repaired. Uh, Chikuma was hit by a dud and that has been already dealt with. Okay, we can leave, I guess. And we shall engage this guy uh, shortly, so I'll get to you when we do. And they just keep sending planes. And this time it's not the not so glass house Martin stacking. So let's break. Yeah, you can see. I think these will be probably not as far markings. Okay, let's start turning uh, more starboard. Now let's see. Oh, if anything. And another direct hit by a bomb. These bombers are ridiculously good. And given that they damage the rudder, so we will really try to slow down and then speed up. Good. And they got some more new misses. Okay. I don't know. Uh, these are definitely different Allied pilots than what I have uh, on my combat campaign. Okay, I'll repair everything and get out of here and then we'll continue uh, pursuing that uh, task force. We are close enough. Let's engage. What have we got here? A destroyer? Oh, Exeter. Now this is a new model modified the Android class I heard for Hobart. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's start lying small. Uh, Exeter actually happens to have, well, it should have really. It does have radar. Um, 
let's target your with everyone. How oh, uh, they already recognize it as your and therefore are targeting. Um, any pin and spot quality will go full. We can deal with everything else after we've sunk Exeter. Um, let's I quickly identify this guy as uh, modified lander. This, even though the paint scheme doesn't match, although you will be targeting one of the destroyers, we are shooting well, not great. Our shooting is not great so far. Director is shooting at uh, E class, which they've already identified. So e class, okay. Don't mind that. That was nice. We can see them right pretty much exactly due west. Uh, as you can see, we are drawing AAA. Uh, that means that we are not drawing, they are shooting at us. It's a very, very bracket thing, but uh, I'm going to switch to narrow spread. solution you have there. And they are firing at our destroyer um, a lot. We are going to break it off like this, break and turn while you can. <laughs> a bit too late, but still. Mikuma, start playing small, please, yourself. York is thinking. Okay, that was a quick one. York is thinking, the proud York. Didn't last long, um, unfortunately. And we saw scored some good hits on uh, Leander as well. By the looks of it. Well, that was a magazine explosion, so, um, yeah, after a magazine explosion. For better or worse, it's usually not a great experience. You know what? I'm going to switch in. We are going to deal with this annoying destroyer. And secondaries as well. She's, she's getting pummeled. I don't know what's targeting her. I think it's the modified Leander that's targeting her. Uh, yeah. Well, this heat class, I think, is not going to last too long. We are getting some nice hits on there. Yeah, he's dead in a walker. 
Uh, and this E-class is probably going to go down quickly. And modify the under. Well, hello. E-class is sinking, so you can redirect the modified Leander, but you are going to fire a piece. Yeah, she doesn't look very well. Well, this will get fixed shortly. Modified Leander is burning. Yeah, and it is her that's uh, trying to hit this guy. Not sure whether we will survive here, honestly. Uh, but one destroyer for two destroyers and a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser is uh, okay in my book. This modified Leander looks very, very rough. The two front turrets are not open. Oh, no, they, they're firing, but they're firing at us. And secondaries are firing at me. Uh, destroyer. Ikuma, you know what? You are going to switch to the J class. Modified Leander sinking. Well, for the break, all these. There you go. Okay, you slow down all the way, and we'll see what we can fix here. Not a great deal, to be honest. Yeah, and the J-Class is not long for this world, to be honest. Outstanding, bravely standing against two heavy cruisers. Uh, well, the models are beautiful. Good class of person magazine explosion. Well, we were looking. Well, the, so we had two magazine explosions here. One for York, which we saw, which was very nice. Even if I say so myself. And then this one, which effectively means that uh, he's out. These guys, you can slow down. And she's sinking. He is sinking, brave little ship. In the best tradition of the Royal Navy, charging the opponent until the last moment. Especially when the orc went down so quickly. Well, this guy looks rough. But um, we are slowly, and she will have to go home as well. Well, basically, we are out of destroyers now. Uh, which means that Task Force E really has to go home uh, because she doesn't have any destroyer escorts. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer, but uh, hey ho, what can you do? Uh, she served her purpose. Uh, they managed to kill a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. Uh, so I would say overall, uh, pretty good. Oh, you know what? I, I will retreat. Uh, that means that critical motor sunk uh, our... Yeah, we've got three command points. Nice. Okay, so... Task for East. Force... Western Java Sea. And uh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's early in the day still. I am experiencing some problems, both in this game and in the ABDA, where when I exit the uh, technical screen, it stops moving. Uh, the ships just stop moving. It's really annoying. Anyway, I'll let the time run here and we'll see what we can do. Well, it looks like Telebus Sea is a very dangerous place for a ship. 
Uh, so we are getting attacked yet again by some planes. Okay, Hudson for a change. Um, break all. Usual. Target by bombs. They are the small ones, so we should. Oh shit! One propeller flooded. This is a uh, uh, like the Allied aviation uh, is uh, of a different quality than than the Allied aviation I have clearly. Okay, we are going to go out of Telebesi. We are going to release this uh, Chikuma uh, because she basically got her stern uh, torn off. As far as I can tell. Yeah, under normal circumstances, this would be just sort of. Yeah, blown off. Pull it. And our Jake found a merchant. Uh, so we are going to visit it. I'm not going to attack it. There is no point in that. Uh, I am going to launch a uh, plane that's going to get away to all. Looks like the task for West has caught up with the merchant finally. So let's go. We've already found the merchant and started engaging. You can see my ships here. Uh, she does have some guns. But uh, I believe, boys, you will have used these life rafts uh, pretty shortly. You can see we are already targeting her. Thinking. Excellent. We can leave. Not that it gives us any uh, command points, it gives us good feeling. Okay, Task Force East has run into something. Let's see what it is. Ah, a small destroyer. Uh, let's light it up. Star shells, please. Star shells. It's 12,000 yards, Admiralty S class. Are we getting some of the star shells up there? Star shells, please. Star shell, a couple more. Oh, I got some star shells. Okay, so let's start going. Nice solution. If we hit her. Yeah, she can destroy it and shooting star shells. Yes, quite a few. We need to light her up nicely uh, so that we can actually hit something, hopefully. And once she will have fires, then we can see her properly. Yes, this is it. This is what I was talking about. Well, 
further to be able to see her now. Contact lost. Hold it down clearly. Speed up. Everyone sees firing. Um, she has to keep eight, so we should be able to catch her shortly. Okay, we don't have to because uh, she is already sunk. Nice. Close. Quick one. Okay, let's head home. Uh, we will release one of the cruisers and the destroyer there. This destroyer will also get released. So, Well, nothing much has happened during the day three. So I will end the episode here. Uh, it's sort of understandable. There is only a limited amount of uh, uh, allied uh, forces. And we have already sunk some of them. Quite a few, actually. Um, while suffering uh, trivial losses ourselves, we suffered some aircraft losses. Um, we do have, though, in the rest of repair, two Fubuki destroyers. And shortly we will add another destroyer there, plus, of course, a heavy cruiser. Uh, we have this invasion force here, which I don't think it can unload yet. No, it's a bit, still a bit further, so it will unload shortly after getting there. Uh, but that's going to be the next episode. Um, I have also uh, joined Mikuma to the uh, uh, large uh, task for West which is now going to be renamed Task Force East because in East is where our invasion forces are so that's where we will patrol and kill anything that's come this way. Uh, so that's it for today's episode. Uh, thank you again to uh, the East Indies uh, mod team, I uh, Abdekom uh, mod team uh, for letting me to uh, play this uh, preview build. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the episode as well, uh, and if you did, um, please consider subscribing, liking, or commenting. All of that helps the channel quite a bit, and I will see you next week. Thanks and bye!